All right, guys, we are here today with the Alfa Romeo Giulia Quadrifoglio. Yes. And this is a two Topher take <laughs> with substitute Topher and the Topher. Um, let's walk around this car. What is this painted in? Okra. Okra. It's like a yellow <laughs> brown. It's actually pretty cool. Yeah. Um, you know what it reminds me? You know what it reminds me of is the the sort of gold color that's on the BMW M4. Oh it's yes. Like, it's a little bit darker. Yes, Just it's like mustard. Darker. Yeah. Well, these are amazing cars. It has a 2.9 liter twin turbo V6, 505 horsepower, rear wheel drive. Sounds amazing. A little bit of Ferrari DNA. Nice big honk and paddle shifters there behind the wheel. And uh, this is Chris's first time in one of these. You've never, you've never been in one of these before, right? I've never been in one, I've never driven one, so I'm excited, excited to experience it. We can open it. Yes, there it is. Super lightweight carbon fiber hood, look at that. 90 degree V6. Yeah. Isn't this like the Ferrari California engine with two less cylinders, but Alfa Romeo won't admit it? I think so, yeah. Yeah, well, that's cool. <laughs> yeah pretty awesome. Looks amazing. It does look really great, yeah. We have a few different drive modes. D N A. D sounds loud. D sounds loud, and then we have race. You hold for that. You get uh, ESC off. More aggressive dampers. More aggressive exhaust. Get a nice little tiny reverse camera there. A little bit of uh, FCA Stellantis switch gear in here, but otherwise a very nice place to be. Love this. Yeah. Green and white stitching on the dash, and just That's the awesome. kind of shape of the interior is really cool. Yeah. The only thing with the interior is I wish that the actual screen fit the like design of the screen. So oh yeah. A square inside of it, but it's okay. It's just like an Alfa Romeo quirk. Oh, the hood's open. The hood is open still. <laughs> you want me to figure that out? Yeah. We don't want to pull a vehicle virgins. Yeah, I love these gauges too. They're so sharp and just. Nice and 3D. I'm gonna miss analog gauges when everything is digital. Yeah. They're just always, so easy to read, why? I always say that too, it's like everybody thinks that every new car should just have a big screen with digital gauges, but I like the setup like that where it's two analog gauges and then you've got your little uh, digital display in the middle. I think no, that's perfect. You're right, it's perfect, that's all you need. <laughs> the Italians have the best paddles. These are fixed. I'm always kind of back and forth on whether I prefer fixed paddles versus paddles that rotate with the wheel. Yeah. I think fixed are kind of the way to go. I like fixed because sometimes if you're going around a corner and you want to like change gear but your hand's in the wrong spot, you can still hit the, the um, paddle. Yeah, you know exactly where they are. Exactly. They never move. Right. And of course this has the proper direction for downshift, upshift oh, on here. Very good. Yeah. Press forward for downshift, back for upshift. And the reason for that is if you're accelerating, you want to pull back yeah. on your gear. If you're braking, you want to push forward. It's like first to second. Exactly. Essentially. <laughs> it was limiting us there a little oh, bit. Oh yeah, definitely some boost by gear <laughs> in this Julia Quadrifolio. It comes on. Man, third gear is like heavy. Yeah, oh. third gear pulls harder than second. Yeah, it does. That's fun. That's a good time. It is. God, it sounds awesome for a V6. <laughs> yeah, the steering wheel. This is one of the best steering wheel shapes in the business. It just feels so right in hand. It's you have thinner spokes, Alcantara right at your touch points. And then there's this kind of three-dimensional element to the to the back of the wheel that you can't see on camera that just feels awesome though. Yeah. And of course their paddles are right behind you. You've got a little touch of carbon fiber at the bottom too. Yes, it's just right. And yeah. you've got this bright red stop start button right at the bottom. Yeah. Eight-speed automatic, perfectly tuned, really nicely calibrated and set up. Paddles are just so satisfying. I can hear them when you click them. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I liked 
that. That's <laughs> yeah. how you do it. <laughs> what does race mode do? <laughs> just breaks the tires loose. No traction. <laughs> <laughs> That's what race mode does. I think we'll turn traction control back yeah, on. Especially since it's raining. <laughs> uh, yeah. I've really only driven these cars very briefly in situations like this where it's like, oh, 10 minutes out and back. Yep. And I've never lived with one. But, I mean, from first impressions, it's just so much fun to drive. It's definitely a car that puts a smile on your face. Yeah, it's so much more engaging than the M3. Yes. You know, it makes a good noise, but it's a there's a sum of all the parts here that it's kind of hard to uh, quantify. And you know, this car definitely is underrated in my opinion. Yeah, well, I think a lot of people are scared of it. Oh yeah, they're, I mean, they're terrified of the reliability, and I would be too. You got a pretty nasty brake vibration yeah, right now. I was wondering what that was. <laughs> This car's been on track a little earlier, so I can explain why. It still feels like it wants to do the right thing, even in the wet, though. <laughs> yeah. It feels controlled. It does. The brakes work well. Just make a little noise. I'm just make a little noise. I'm not saying all Julias are like are like that. <laughs> I mean, every Julia, I'm sure, is unique in it its, its own, own way. Works, right? Yeah. the carbon fiber down here. Yeah, we got it up here on the dash as well. A little Italian flag down at the bottom. The Italians always love to remind you that you're in, a, in an Italian car. Absolutely. There's always the green, white, and red everywhere. I'm surprised there's not a, a, a red stitching up here as well. I know. That's, that's for the quadrifolio with the, the clover leaf. Like that's right. White. That's why they do that. In normal mode, ride is pretty decent too. Yeah. It feels it, good. It feels like it'd be fine to live with. Yeah. You know, you can put it into all of its normal settings and it, it settles down and it's able to just be and car. Yeah. <laughs> you almost have Ferrari-like steering. It's very, it's very light, but very uh, direct also. Okay. also been on track all day so who knows what state of uh right you know pad life these brakes have yeah. cool well this has been a great first alfa romeo experience yeah yeah two toe for take on the alfa romeo giulia quadrifoglio yeah i love it it's awesome yeah i mean we've we haven't had any time in the amg recently but we spent quite a bit of time in the m3 m4 I think this is a little bit more personality than the M3, M4. Yeah, absolutely. The uh, dynamics and the handling on this car didn't really take it around too many corners. Pretty wet out today. Right. Not not ideal. Yeah. But um, it definitely has more soul than the M3. Oh that's, yeah, I mean this sure. it's an Italian car. Yeah. It's always overflowing with soul. Oh, yeah. All right. Well, I guess we can just wrap things up right there. Thanks for watching, guys. Just a quick drive and. Um, Always drive. good to get you behind the wheel one of these. Yeah. Quick drive in a brown alpha. Yeah. There it is. <laughs> yeah, when it works, this would be a fun car to get into every day. Even in brown, like it's it's still alright. Oh 
you keep calling this brown. I'm just seeing All like gold. gold, mustard. You're just thinking about hot dogs. Yeah, pretty much. We just had brats for lunch, so maybe that's what it is. Such a cool looking rear end too. This between this carbon fiber spoiler and yeah. the openness of this rear diffuser. Yeah. And the massive exhaust tips. Oh my gosh. And those are real exhaust tips. They are. There's nothing fake. Like those tips connect to pipes and pipes connect to everything else. Yeah. yeah there's plenty of pad left. I think we've just got some uh who knows? Some uneven wear. Yeah. yeah. A little bit of vibration. <laughs> 